Hi guys, it's me again. I just want to do a quick review on a new special effects blade that I have. It's actually a blade cover. I'll just switch some lights on so you can see. Oh. Um, this time, it's once again, it's for my flam brush, which I love, from Ultra Sabers. This is a stunt flam brush in blazing red. The reason I bought a stunt one was because I wanted one that I could practice with spinning and fighting and also going around cos um, conventions for cosplay. I didn't want one with sound because I think it's just a bit distracting for everyone. That's it, my beautiful flambeau, my most favourite sabre at the moment. Um, what I've got to show you today are um, unstable or like plasma effect blade covers. So I'll show you the Quillian here, and it's a cover that goes over the current blade. So it's uh, hollow, it's, it's on a piece of plastic it's on the inside and it's like a, a glue effect. I'm sorry if I'm selling you short, Aaron, on the terminology here. I don't I really don't know how to describe this. But there are there's so much going on with this cover. It A, it's red, so technically I wouldn't have to have the blade on all the time if I didn't want to, which conserves batteries. So if you're out at a conventional day, that's really cool. It's got these plasma larvae bits that stick out okay and then it's got some what Aaron's done the guy who makes this is called Aaron Allen and I'll give you all the details um, is he's put some clear not clear as in um, see th it, it's it's plain it's still got the red dye running through um, see it better on the main blade um, here that's what I mean. So he's left elements where there's not a lot going on. So if you've got a blade that has a saber that has flash on clash, it will show through those element, uh, those those planar bits, which is or flatter bits, which is cool. Um, the place where I got them from, um, it, the guy's called Aaron Allen. He's from the States. I ordered it on the 22nd of February. Um, he got them done for me really quickly. And they're, they're a custom build. So this is a 40-inch blade, Ultra Sabres. And I've custom cut the quillions down. And he made them two size for me. Um, he has an Etsy shop. And it's called... It's Cause Sabre Covers. Which I think is Knights of Wren Sabre Covers. And I will put the detail of the shop in the description below. And I know Aaron offers clear ones. So if you've got something like a diamond dr driver or RGB where it changes colour, you can have a clear cover as well. Um, and he does different grades of effects. So the one I've got is number four. And there's a fifth one, which is even, it has even more bells and whistles than what this one does. Um, so they go from fa fairly simplistic up to quite complex ones and I don't know if you can see but these are, uh, my phone camera is not going to pick it up very well but you can see there's, there's actually sh like plasma bits that are popping out which is really cool, it's really really pretty. Um, they are quite a challenge to get on so um, what I might do is I might have to stop the video um, once I've got them on and then um, restart the video. But let's see uh, if I can do it without giving myself a hernia. So these were quite tricky to put on the Quillians were when I started and they're a bit easier now. But you want them tight because what you don't want is for the covers to fall off while you're dueling or cosplaying. And as you can see, they ain't going anywhere, which is really good. So I'm just gonna quickly Turn this on now so you can see the difference between the plain blade and this flame effect. Can you see the difference? Oh my god. So it just looks like flame. It is so cool. And Aaron did these for me. Um, 
without needing the blades, which is good because I'm in the UK and he's in America. So today is the, oh, what day is it? I think it's the 6th and I've got them, 6th of March. So they didn't take long at all to arrive and they came from the States and I didn't get custom tats. First time ever I've bought something from the States and not been custom tats. So thank you very much, Erin. They were packed beautifully. Um, they came very light package and it came in a big heavy cardboard tube that was also stuffed with um, lots of um, um, packaging wrapped around so they were very protected um, and I got some little um, information cards which are quite cute as well which I'll save um, okay I will give this a go and if I can't get this on straight away I will stop and try to um, I'm going to stop this, put that on and come back because otherwise I might not be very ladylike with my language. See you in a minute. Back again. Um, actually, the second time I put them on, it wasn't as bad as the first time. So they do loosen up a bit. But I just want to show you, just no hands. Once again, that's not going anywhere. So they're quite tricky to get on and off, but that's what you want. You don't want them flying off. Um... I'll just turn the light up that, that so you can see. Here we are. So you, this is what I mean about the clear bits. I'm sure my terminology sucks, but um, it is. There's a lot of work gone into this. You can see there. There's so many different textures going on and these bits are beautiful, these things that shoot out. I get a good shot there. There. It keeps going because it's such a long blade. Can you imagine what this is going to be like though, doing a photo shoot with this? I can't wait. I'm, I know it's cheesy, but you know what? I don't care. I'm doing a Kylo Jen costume which is a female version of Kylo Ren and I've ordered a really cool helmet and I'm going to make um, a costume heavily influenced by Kylo Ren's costume but the difference is, is I'm going to make it slightly more fitted because um, I want it more skirted so when I turn it twirls a bit more um, and I'm going to take some photos when I do, do that with this and it's going to look amazing so this is what it looks like and this is quite hard wearing it's not fragile I wouldn't feel worried about taking this to an event um, you know I've had to really welly it to get it get it onto the blades so during the daytime if you want to conserve batteries there you are in a well lit room I've currently got um, a daylight bulb to the side of the camera a daylight bulb here and also the ceiling light on so I can't get any more lit in this room and that and this is what it looks like in a lit room and it's it's beautiful it looks like lava it gives a really good effect there you are and for a comparison so this Quillian doesn't have it on See, there's like less movement or less energy in this one than what there is in this one. Oh, God. I want to say something evil and witty, but I'm, I'm not a very evilly person. I just like, like all the costume. I think all the, the cis get all the fun with the costumes. I'm a bit cooler. Sorry. That proved me wrong. There you are. And then I'm going to turn all the lights out, so bear with me. One, two, three. Oh. And it doesn't really dim the LED at all. Oh, God, that's cool. Look at that. Now, can you imagine if you had a more, a saber with a more advanced electronics that pulsated how this would look, it would look like it was alive. 
I'm getting the flamberge from Ultra Sabres. I've ordered it a few weeks ago now. Um, and it's got a dr diamond driver. So um, when that arrives, uh, I might do a, a very, very quick review with these blades back on. Just so you can see the di difference between this one and one that's got uh, pulse and flash and clash with it. If my husband catches me, I'll get told off. I'm not allowed to spin in the house. But um, I've taken out too many pendant, pendant lampshades with that. But that's so cool. Right, so these are blade covers. Um, this is option number four. I'm going to say it's Supreme Leader, but I could be wrong on the name on that. And I, um, it's from Core Sabres, Knights of Ren Sabres. And the guy who makes them is a lovely chap called Aaron Allen. And you can find him on Facebook under the Knights of Ren group. Um, and he has a Knights of Ren Sabres covers Facebook page and also on Etsy. And on Etsy, you'll get to see all the different options. There's a fifth option, which ha actually has bits, I believe, bits cut out as well. So you get light flashes coming from it with the more advanced sabers. There you are. But if you're interested in this, please talk to him. Oh, also, he offers different color options as well. So uh, this is the red. Obviously, I've got a red um, stunt saber, so that's why I wanted a red one. Look at the tip on that. Um, but he can offer, I think he can offer different colours, but he definitely offers clear. So um, if you've got a colour changing saber, you can get a clear set of covers as well. There you are. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you, Aaron. And um, I hope this was of use to you and all the information will be put in the comments below. Thank you very much. Bye.